welcome to Puzzle Master. Today I'm going to be showing you the solution for the Hanayama Loof Puzzle, which means I'm going to show you the very long way of moving around those mazes at the same time on that gold piece, on that silver piece, to a point where we can eventually separate them. And then I'm going to show you the reverse, how you can put it all back together in its original position. Now the Louvre puzzle is a level 4 out of 6 on the Hanayama difficulty scale, which makes it a level 8 out of 10 on the Puzzle Master difficulty scale. And if you don't already have the Louvre puzzle, then you can pick it up from our website, puzzlemaster.ca. And without further ado, let's get on with that solution. Okay, so here we have a fully assembled Louvre puzzle. And I was hoping with this solution to be able to just stay on one side and just move one side behind the front side and not have to alternate between the gold side and the silver side. But that's not going to be the easiest way for you to follow a long tour. There's a lot of traps that you can fall into in this, a lot of places where you can go wrong. So the easiest way for me to show you how you can get it apart with, with you having the least amount of trouble is for us to swap sides and we're going to have to swap sides quite a lot because there's a lot of different aspects to, to getting the loop puzzle apart. We're going to start on the looking down at the silver side and we're going to work our way around the silver maze to this position in here. So we're going to come down here and around into this position here. Now, your loof puzzle may have different tolerances to mine. I I'm pretty sure I've bent one of the parts, so there's there's a certain few moves of mine that sort of grind past each other. But for me, we have we just have to apply a little bit of force in here just to click it down into this position here. We're then going to flip over to the gold side, and we should be down in this position. And we're then going to again apply a slight little bit of force to get it going up this left hand side. But then from there, we're going to be able to twist around and up into this position here. Once we're on this sort of top level here, we're going to flip back to the silver side. Once we're on this silver side, we're going to work our way back on the silver side to sort of this area here. So we're going to come down into this position. And as soon as we get around this corner, we're then going to come back onto the gold side and what we can then do is we can then work our way down this line here and we can pretty much fall all the way to the bottom in this position here. Once we are here we're going to flip back to the silver side and we're going to come back onto this into this position on this silver side. So we're just going to flip around and down into here. What we can then do is we should be in pretty much the same position is we're going to slide up this side and we should then be able to get all the way pretty much to the end of the gold maze. However, this is a huge tease because we are a very long way off actually separating out of that gap. Being in this position actually allows us on the silver side to come around this bottom corner and onto this straight line. So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure we've come around that corner and then flip back to the gold side and we're going to just come back where we've come, uh, where we came from. So we're going to come all the way down, back down into this position here. Here, we want to make sure and check that we've actually come around that corner. If you haven't come around that corner when you come back down, do that move again. You're going to have to go back to the edge on the gold peat on the gold side, and then make sure you go around that corner before you come back down into this position here. Once we're in this position, we're going to make sure we're on the left hand side of where we are with the on the gold side at the minute. And then essentially we're going to flip the silver side around. And then as we keep flipping it around, we can then move up and into this position in here. Once we're in this position, we're going to flip back over to the silver side. And we're going we're gonna to come back onto this long straight in here. And we're going to come all the way down to the bottom of it in this position here before we flip back to the gold side. And we can now work our way around and almost back to the very start on the gold side. Now, once we're in this position, we're going to go back to the silver side and there's going to be a few moves that we're about to do, which need you to stay on this gold side in this very first bit here. 
If you get stuck on the next few moves, it's probably because you've ended up coming back down here rather than staying in here. So if we flip over to that side now, we're now gonna go from this area on the server side all the way over to this corner in here. So we're gonna come up and around that top piece. We're gonna come all the way around and back down into this position here. And again, if you struggled with any of those moves, it'll be because instead of coming up and using this area, you instead use this area here. So once we're in this position, we're then gonna turn around and focus on the gold side again, and we're gonna work our way back round to the end for, you'll be pleased to hear for the last time. So we're gonna come all the way up to here again. We're gonna stop in this position on the gold side, and flip over to the silver side, where we're just gonna come back into this area here. So we're just gonna flip over and back to here. We we'll then come back to the gold side, and we should then be able to slide all the way down to this bottom place on the gold side. Now, we're gonna flip over to the gold, uh, the silver side again, and we're gonna make sure that before we do the next few moves, we're gonna come around this corner here. So we come around there, and when we're in this position, we should still be in this bottom position down here, and once we are, we can then slide the gold, uh, slide up the gold, piece and all the way pretty much to the end but we're not quite there yet we're done with looking at this side and all we now need to do is essentially work our way from this position on the silver piece to here now you'll get stuck on here and all we need to do then is pull that silver piece over to that that position then move it a little bit there's a little bit of a click and then we can move it back on the gold piece and from there, we can then separate the gold and silver loof puzzle pieces. And for putting the loof puzzle back together, we're going to do it in, in much the same way as we are going to be swapping from side to side the whole time. But our first focus is going to be on the silver side. So we want that one facing towards us to start with. So first of all, place them both in at the same time. And then what we need to do is slide the silver piece to the right or the gold piece to the left, however you want to look at it. And just to get this silver piece around that bottom corner, then we're going to bring them back down into this position. And from there, we should be able to bring the silver side down into this position. Once we're here, we're going to flip over and turn our focus onto the gold side. And this moves nice and simple. We're just going to move all the way down the right hand side until we end up down in this bottom position in here. Then we flip over to the silver side and all we need to do is come around these corners into here, into this position before we come back and then work our way up that on this gold side and into this position here. Now, if we keep going left here, you're gonna get stuck here. So we need to do something on the silver side. So what we need to do here is we need, need to bring the silver side back down onto this corner. So around this corner onto this bottom side. And then when on this gold side, we can then turn around that gold side and all the way down to this bottom position in here. Once we're here, we're gonna turn our focus onto the silver side again. And we're actually gonna come a long way here. So we're gonna go from here where we are now, all the way down to this side and here. And remember, from the same as when we were taking it apart, if we just reference the gold side, all the moves that are required, essentially require the gold piece to stay on this place here. If you end up stuck, it's probably because you've wound up on this side here. So if you do get stuck from going from here to here, then it's because of the position of the gold side. You just need to sort that out when you are doing it. So we come around that corner and up, and then we can come around that corner as well and all the way down to this position in here. Once we're in this position, we're gonna flip back to the gold piece and we're gonna come all the way back around to the end on a, in a very slow process. So we can come all the way up to here to start with, into this position, 
Then we're gonna flip over to the silver side again. So we're in this position and now all we need to do is bring it around this corner here. So we're gonna uh, sort of come back on ourselves just to get over that, over that position there. And then from here, we should then be able to turn around here and essentially it should just roll down to this position in here. Now we do need to go back to the silver side just to do one little flip. So at this point, we're at the top of this straight line, but we wanna be at the bottom of it. So essentially we're just gonna spin the silver piece around to this position and then flip back to the gold side where it should be in exactly the same position as we left it. And we can then slide all the way up this right hand side of the gold side and pretty much all the way to the end in this position here. And we can then, on the silver side, come back around this corner. Once we've done that, we need to make sure it stays around this corner when we do the next few moves on the gold side. So as you are then coming back down into this position on the gold side, make sure when you get back down to this position here, that you are here rather than here, okay? So once we're in this position, we can then, what do we need to do? We need to come back on this piece all the way around to this position in here, like just like that. And then on the gold side, we can then come up and across. Now, if we carry on going, we'll probably get stuck in here. So once we're in this position, we're gonna go back to the silver piece and we need to bring the silver piece down to here. So I'm gonna come back into this position here and then we're gonna flip back to the gold side. And it's important with this move that we sort of keep the silver piece turning left as much as we can as we come around this corner. And then we're just gonna let it carry on turning until we get back down into this position. Now here we're gonna use a slight bit of force just to get it to the bottom of that corner and we're gonna flip over to the silver side. And this is essentially the last, uh, the last move. So we're gonna use a slight bit of force just to get it up around that corner there. And then from here, we just have to track it back into its original starting loof puzzle position. So there it is. That is how you disassemble and then reassemble the loof puzzle. It's taken a long time to uh, to master this one. This is a very complicated one and it's not the easiest to follow along to. Hopefully I've done it in a way that is as easy and as simple to follow along to as it needs to be for you to be able to solve this one. But the main things you need to be watching out for are if you can't get to certain points that you see on the video, the chances are you've been caught in a trap on the other side or you've not a trap per se, but you've gone down the wrong route on the other side, whereas the other route was the right one, if that makes sense. But if you follow what you've just seen in this video, then you should be able to take it apart and put it back together eventually. Now hopefully this has helped you solve that loof puzzle and if you want to pick up more puzzles just like the loof puzzle then check out our website puzzlemaster.ca where we have the biggest variety of puzzles on the internet in the world. And until next time, I'll see you later.